Is it possible to do light painting using this instant camera? That's the challenge for today. An instant camera with a slow shutter speed limited to a quarter of a second. Not a chance I can do this that fast. All of my long exposure images are between 1 and 13 seconds. My usual workflow is pretty simple. I paint with light behind a dancer while my camera captures the motion of the light. The only source of light is the one in my hand. This means I have to light up my model while I create a visually appealing trace that blends well with the surroundings. But for this project, I have to do it all within a quarter of a second. That is not going to work. Clickman Pass is a project by art collector Norkel Guy. The concept is revolving around this little instant camera. Each entry becomes one numbered exposure. To participate, we needed to win the auction of the piece created by the previous photographer. I won the seventh one, which was created by Fuckrender. So, so let's go to the other side now. Let's go to the other side because you've done some yeah. really interesting stuff. Actually, let, let's start with one exposure because when uh -huh. you when you began that project, it was clear that you thought about a unique concept. I remember sort of re reading through the whole thing, sort of witnessing how it all launched and it's gone on to do some interesting things since. But yeah, talk about that inception. Yeah, you know, that's funny. My, my daughter was maybe three or so, three and a half, when I think when that started to happen. So I was, so I, I had gotten a camera myself um, and was really enjoying it. And I, my daughter was wanting to play with it. And so I'm like, what kind of camera can I get for her? That's like this digital camera, but also can print. Cause I knew the, the Fujiroid stuff, but I didn't like those because the original ones because every picture you have to print it it's a you know and there's no digital but this one is also it's a fujiroid but it's a digital camera and you selectively can print what you want off of it um so i got that and i was like playing with it and i was like this could be an interesting idea because it's digital and you know you're not going to be burning through film you're just going to print the ones that you want you know, to have like a signed physical, small physical for people to get, and then you auction off the, the digital as an NFT. Um, I thought it'd be a fun project to have that physical, digital combined that are, you know, the same. And then this camera that gets passed around from each auction winner and they you know each person draws on the camera case it's been fun to see what people are doing with it um you know it's been to singapore now twice and vancouver and arizona what are a few of the highlight shots oh man so ruben Wu. uh that one was a solid one because so the, the challenge is also because you can't do any post-processing on it you know it has to be all in camera so he's known for his drone lighting, light painting, and uh, you know he couldn't do that with this camera. You know it only has a certain amount of um, shutter speeds, uh, and so. But he's like snow. You know it reflects a lot of light. Let's go out to Tahoe. It dumped so much snow this last year out there. So I'm. He invited me out to Tahoe to come snowshoe with him and we went and shot this thing um well i didn't shoot it he shot it but i was there for it and uh it was a great time i had a great time with that one and then also the this last one was pretty fun to watch was uh fuck render got had it he took it out to a uh a glacier and an ice clay cave and he shot his uh sculpture the chain link um 
in an ice cave there and made an awesome little promo video for it. Now it's gone to Eric in uh, Montreal and I can't wait to see what they do it because I know he's also known for you know his light painting and he also got that studio with like 300 cameras in a circle for those matrix shots um, so yeah uh, it's gonna be a fun fun one this next one to see what he does I'm making the eighth art piece of this project that is from my first round of experiments. That is not going to work. The problem is that there's a long delay between the moment we press the shutter button and the moment the picture is taken. And the settings are all automatic. This means I'll reach that one fourth of a second if I'm lucky. I have to find a way to have my light in continuous fast motion. Let's spin the whole thing. I made a small tube which I attached to a shoelace. And right away, I was much closer to getting something decent. I took over 200 pictures total just to have this single one. Of course, the end result is quite noisy as I'm pushing the camera to its limits. But at f2, ISO 1600 and 0.25 seconds, I finally got something I'm happy with. 